Okay, now we're going to be testing the GTX 580 classifieds in SLI mode from EVGA. There we are, we're still running the same i7-920 at 3.66 gigahertz. We've still got 24 megabytes, or excuse me, gigabytes of RAM. And then there we are, the GTX 580. We're going to run them at their stock frequencies out of the box for the classified ultras are 900 megahertz. And then uh, 1053 on the memory and 1800 on the shaders. And there we got the NVIDIA SLI enabled. Okay, so now let's get started on the benchmarks. Okay, we're going to start off with Heaven. I'll zoom in here so you can take a look at the settings that we're using here. We're... There we go. So pretty much this is the settings that come up when I start the program. Okay, I click to run and I will get back to you with the results. All right, looks like we're done. Let's see how we did. Okay, let's see if I can bring it in there a little bit for you. Okay, so our FPS of 131.3 and a score of 3307. And then there's the hardware, as I described before. And the settings that I set the benchmark to run. I saw one card get up to 60 and the other card liked to be around 56. So I'm assuming the 60 card was the top one and the bottom card was the 56. All right, now let's get into uh, 3D Mark 11. Okay, so 3D Mark 11 is completed. We've got a P score of 11,536. Score is comparable to similar systems. Seems to be functioning normally. Except my graphics driver is not approved is what it looks like. I'm using a, uh, a beta. Uh, graphics driver right now so must just not be approved by these guys by future mark yet alright so that's our 3d mark 11 now I'm going to run the 3d mark vantage and we'll see where that comes out at I should add that the 3d mark 11 test will come out here with the graphics score of 13,985 and the physics score of 7951. So, being that we are, you know, mostly just checking out the performance of the uh, EVGA 580 classified, I figured I'd better add in the graphical scores. So, now we'll be on to Vantage. So, the Vantage benchmark has ended. And we end up with a score of P33389. And then I'll scroll down a little bit and take a look at the graphical part of it. Alright, our graphic score of 40,367. And then there is the Jane Nash. So definitely into the 100 frames per second on that and both the uh, both of the tests the 3d mark test are both obviously the P scores uh, I don't own the benchmark program itself so I'm using the trial versions and uh, that's all they allow you to run is the P score now I'm gonna do some video of some real-world testing in uh, the Elder Scrolls 5 Skyrim I've got everything turned up to ultra and I've also downloaded some mods and, and texture enhancements and stuff like that to uh, kind of push these cards to their limit. Keep in 
even in the, the 50s. Even with all the details turned up. Got the cards at about 55 degrees. Pretty good. It's holding, uh, oh, there we go. A dip into the 40s, 47, 44. But it does quite nicely in Skyrim on the highest settings, which is a key reason that I got these cards so I could play this game, you know, the highest possible resolutions. Okay, we'll try something, uh, we'll try a different game. Everybody always raves about Battlefield 3, how many frames per second they can get, and with all the details turned up, well, I don't even own a copy of Battlefield 3, so we'll have to go with uh, Modern Warfare 3. That's one of the fastest first-person shooters that I that I own. So, let's see what we get out of this. Looks like we're pretty good into the triple digits. So. Definitely cannot complain at all about that. All right, well, I'm satisfied here. This is about as much as I can uh, handle of Modern Warfare 3, so we'll get out of that, and we'll go on to something else. All right, I'm going to give Crisis Warhead a shot. I've got uh, everything set at the enthusiast level at 1920 by 1080 see how this guy does. So far looking looking pretty good. Yeah, we're seeing 40s, 50s, 60s. Not too, not too horrible. Okay, I think it's time to wrap this up. Okay, so I'll give another shot of the rig. We're using the uh, Mountain Mods U2 UFO case. Got the. GTX 580 Classified Ultra there, the two of them there. We've got a sound card in between, so I've tried to position that LED blue fan there to kind of keep the uh, sound card a little cool, because obviously that, that uh, right in there will uh, take on quite a bit of heat. Got the, the three fans there, there's two in the back. Three up front blowing across but I did get rid of the uh, the three down here I just thought it was it was just a bit too much uh, it was it was more airflow coming into the case than I could that I could even have escape out the back most of it the back at this point anyway when I went with the whole top it's coming out here behind the uh, the processor and then the slots um, there's the, the vented slots I guess in between the video cards, the sound card, and that, so I just had way too much air pushing in with uh, with those three fans on the side. Okay, so that'll give you a good idea where we're at. So I will come back and then we will compare the results of the 580 SLI, uh, and then I'll compare it against what I replaced the 570s in SLI. So here we are with the comparison of the 570 SLI and the 580 Classified Ultra SLI tests. One thing I should point out is unfortunately I didn't do a Vantage on the 570 SLI 
or the gameplay testing on the 570 SLI combination. Um, so I'm only going to compare the data that I have between the two of them. So on 3D Mark 11, the score was 15% higher for the classified ultras. Heaven, the average uh, frames per second were 35% higher. The score was 35% higher. The minimum FPS was 16% higher. And the maximum FPS was 36% higher. And obviously, you know, we all knew that the 580s were going to trump the 570s. And I would have been, you know, surprised to not see an increase. It's a little bigger than I was expecting, though. But I think I'm comparing a, the 570s at stock clock and then the 580 classified ultras are overclocked and beefed up to perform better. So, you know, technically, you know, stock clock to stock clock would be a more fair um, test, but uh, I went with what I had to work with. Um, this is my own personal build that I upgraded, so that's where that's where it came out anyway. So, well, thank you for watching and comment below, please.